This Mater color changer may not seem like anything special. He might just seem like another one of the new on the road color changer two packs that includes a non-rolling pity water sprayer. But this Mater is actually something very special because this is the first time we've ever gotten a regular Mater color changer. Every single Mater color changer in the past, of which there are I think three or four of at this point, have always been based off of brand new Mater. That's because brand new Mater in the movie is just one solid flat color. In the movie, he's just blue. But regular Mater is of course a mess of different colors. He's a bunch of different shades of brown and blue. So when they were first making the color changers, I guess I just thought it would be easier to make brand new Mater instead of regular Mater. And as the years went on, they continued to just make brand new Mater. That's why I'm really excited about this Mater. Now we finally have a regular Mater that's a color changer. But as you can see, he still does just change from one flat color to another. He changes from green to blue. They didn't really include the other colors of rust on him. Compared to other color changers like, say, Bobby Swift, where the purple changes and the orange doesn't, all of Mater changes instead of just the brown changing. It's all of Mater, just like with brand new Mater, but with a regular Rusty Mater instead. Very interesting solution to the fact that regular Rusty Mater has a bunch of different colors. Regardless though, I'm just glad we finally have a regular Mater color changer. Anyway guys, welcome back to another review and to another Cars on the Road color changer two pack review. Today we're gonna be taking a look at, of course, Mater, who comes with Sarah Coggs here. This is a new character from On the Road. At the time of the making of this video, On the Road is not out yet, but we know Sarah Coggs is getting a release here. She's also getting a metal diecast release, which leaked a while back, and she's also coming out in the Salt Flats playset. This is a character that will appear in the Salt Flats episode, and it seems she will help upgrade Mater into Super Speed Mater for a time in the episode. Now, if you guys saw my McQueen review from a few days ago, you know, you would know that I was not very impressed with the Guido included in that pack. I just bought these packs for the new color changers in each of them. Could not really care less about the plastic pity. It's so upsetting that they don't roll. They're just a static plastic piece. But I was even more upset that Guido couldn't even stand up. So hopefully Sarah and the pity that comes with Cruz can both stand up. Because they are a bit wider than Guido and they have four wheels. But they're all holding their little spray bottles at an angle which means that they'll probably still topple over. We have the Cars on the Road logo here. We've got Mater being sprayed with water. You'll notice that this Mater is based off of Precision Series Mater, not the original classic Mater diecast, which is interesting, but technically more accurate to Mater in the movies, I guess. With color changers there, a little graphic of Sarah um, spraying Mater, and of course here we don't have actual artwork of the characters, we just have a render of the diecast. On the back we have Mater, you can see his dark water color here is a sort of greenish brown color. I guess it's supposed to be more of a brown. He looks kind of green here. It looks like he's maybe in between, but I, I think it's, I don't know, I guess we'll have to see up close. Definitely looks more brown though. Uh, and then the warm water color is more of a blue, so it sort of goes from regular rusty brown Mater to brand new Mater sort of. They've done the concept before with an earlier color changer of Brand New Mater. It just looks like mine's kind of green at the moment. It, it looks like he's caught between uh, the two colors. Also available, we have Lightning and Cruise. Reviewed Lightning last week, and I'll be reviewing Cruise next. Anyway, let's get this guy out of the package. Honestly surprised that he and Cruise have both stayed in their cold water colors. It's like 89 degrees outside. Um, so, so I was very surprised when I found these guys in the store and they were in their cold water colors. Um... Will Mater start to change if I put my hand on him? I can't really tell. Huh. I guess we'll take a look at Sarah Cobbs first. She works just the same as Guido does, but hopefully she actually stands. Nope. Nope. Ooh! There! She stands a little bit better than Guido, but there we go. See? Okay, definitely stands better than Guido. That's good. That's very good. Um, I'm not going to be displaying these. I have no need to. Um, of course, when I get the regular Sarah Cogs, I'll display her with my other cars. This will probably just end up in a bin somewhere. But at the very least, she can stand up. It's very good. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, no, these don't change color. And again, no, they do not roll. <sighs> a trend that's becoming all too common with little pity pack-ins and play sets and other things. Pretty annoying, uh, in my opinion. And yeah, we have Sarah here. She's wearing orange goggles. Um, 
got a little smile there orange cap nothing else of note really on her she doesn't have a back window uh and again i'm sure we'll well, this won't be the last time we'll see merchandise of her. We already know she has a diecast coming and a plastic non-moving release uh, with a playset. But very nice, very nicely detailed, I guess. Again, it's a character we don't know much about just yet. But, um, you know, nice to have a new character from on the road in one of these packs. As the Cruise pack just has a blank yellow pity and the McQueen pack came with Guido. So this is technically my first piece of merchandise for a new on the road character, which is pretty cool. She comes with an orange barrel, kind of matches her hat, and when you squeeze, of course, it will spray out water. I like the fact that each of these cars have different water spraying devices. Guido's looks like a shower head. Hers, I guess, looks a little more industrial, and Cruz's looks kind of like a paint gun, which is just a very nice touch there. Anyway, we'll test out Sarah Coggs and her water spraying a little bit. Now let's take a look at Mater, and Mater kind of feels matte compared to a traditional Mater color changer. Yeah, it kind of feels like they pulled off a matte paint color changer. You can even hear a little the, the rougher noise it makes when I run my finger across it. That's honestly really impressive. But yeah, this Mater is basically just a spot on duplicate of Precision Series Mater in a uh, plastic form. A few years ago, they started making new Mater die casts that looked a bit more like Precision Series Mater and then they stopped. And now for On The Road, some of the new plastic maters are based off of Precision Series Mater. So very interesting. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, Mater's all just this one flat color. It looks kind of like a greenish brown again, but we will test to see what the colors actually look like when we dip them in water in just a few minutes. Expression is spot on. Really interested uh, in the fact that even his engine is the same color as the rest of him. They just decided to make everything on him the exact same color just like with the brand new Mater color changers. Um, even though traditionally, again, on Mater, different parts of him are different colors. Uh, I've got the yellow wheel there, blue wheel over there. His tow hook assembly being a separate piece is not um, a, uh, it does not change color. It's just a, a sort of gray there. Interesting though that they uh, didn't make it brown since this is, again, supposed to be normal Mater, but whatever, they'll change things like that sometimes to make them match a color changer. A little better you can see his tow hook there unlike on precision series mater it of course does not move it's just there but it does look more accurate to precision series mater a bit more movie accurate slightly bigger hook there's a look at the back this is a113 license plate there's a look at the other side there is a look at the base and now let's change this guy's color wait look at that the huh copyright date is 2017 that's strange that would usually equate to a 2018 release Huh, wonder what that's all about. Anyway. All right guys, we're gonna have to act fast once again. It's still very hot out and my ice is melting again. Uh, under better light, the Mater definitely looks green, but I don't know, in my opinion, it looked a little more brown on the back of the packaging. I don't know, either way, let's see if he goes to a deeper color when we put him in the ice. Yeah, definitely. Ew, that is a really, ugly color oh what is i can't even really tell what color he's supposed to be i guess it's brown it's a very greenish it's almost like an orange brown but yeah i think that's probably the best way to describe it it's, it's definitely more orange what a strange color for him to be when i first got him out of the box it was this weird in between color Oh, that is weird looking. I don't know how I feel about that, but it definitely does match. I think one of the older brand new Mater color changers, I think changed to a very similar greenish, orangish, brownish color. Now, dip him in here. You could even see the way he changes color looks a little different, and I think it's because he's more matte. Huh, wait a minute, is this, is this just Mater's warm color? What he was before? Hold on, let's put him under some hotter water. Is he gonna go uh, any lighter than that? No, it doesn't really seem like it. Huh. Very interesting. So he is a little more, he's not really as uh, blue as I thought he'd be. He's just more of this sort of greenish color that he was earlier. 
Maybe it's my color blindness shining through, but this does not match that. This is the second time where I feel like one of these color changers just does not look the same as advertised. If you look at the base here, that looks a lot more like that color than the actual Mater does. And just like with the McQueen, the color is weirdly inconsistent. I'm not sure if that's just my copies or um, if it's because of the weather outside or if it's just what they're supposed to look like. When he's in the darker color though, definitely a very interesting color. When he's in the lighter color, I don't know. That definitely looks a bit more blue. It's more definitely a bluish green and this is just more green. Huh. The area around the hood looks a bit more like that, but I don't know. That's very interesting. If you guys have this mater, let me know. Does he look the same? Because he just, he doesn't look as advertised. And usually, honestly, usually the color changers are, are very faithful to what's advertised. So I just find it interesting that, I don't know, mater doesn't really look as much like that. Anyway, we dip Sarah Cogs in here. If you saw my Guido review, you already know how these work. We're going to just position her over here. Um... Wow, I'm sorry, I'm doing this without my tripod. <laughs> now we dip her in the cold water. I said in my Guido review, I never really cared for these things that just sort of inconsistently change the color uh, of the cars. I always prefer to just fully dip them in, but you know, again, to a kid, this definitely could be very fun. I definitely prefer Sarah uh, over Guido. Whoa, I'm getting my counter all wet. <laughs> Definitely prefer Sarah over Guido. She definitely stands up quite a bit better. Anyway though, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna leave the Mater in the uh, cold water because that is just such an interesting color. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.